Now then, everybody, it's Dan from homesea.com. Got the third vlog talking bollocks on the bike. Um, as you can see, I have got a bruise of massive peace on my arm in before sinfall. Um, I have got a physical job, like you know, I'm an engineer, and I had to carry this motor halfway across the site and it dug into me because I bruised like a peach. Um, I asked for some like non sort of like fitness related questions or fun questions just to basically help me get through this cardio because I hate cardio but I found that doing these videos and answering your questions makes me, it just flies by so this one was from 013 Belly and I honestly thought it really funny um, five questions number one zombie apocalypse what canned foods will help you meet your macros I would use tuna protein um, sweet corn for carbs um, cu custard for carbs as well fast acting sugars um, tin mackerel for fats and protein and chilli beans as well kidney beans or baked beans carbs fibre I think uh, I would probably live forever on all that I reckon I'd stink and fart but whew, it'd be alright Question two. Last week I bent three spoons when getting a bowl of ice cream. This week I broke two spoons. Is this progressive overload? Um, you could say it is, or you could be getting weaker. If uh, if it's the same spoons, and this week you can't break those three spoons, then you're getting weaker, mate. You need to uh, up your macros, maybe eat a bit more. Unless they are more dense spoons, and that is the reason why you cannot break them, then yes, this is progressive overload, and I hope that this week you've managed to get those free spoons spent. Number three. Your wife keeps putting cardio equipment, she's not my wife yet, um, in the weight room. Should you lecture her on the connection between weight loss and weight training? Well, the good thing is about my future missus is that she, uh, she's starting to learn about the whole thing about weight training and that it is very beneficial. She does a lot of squats and she's got serious squat bootay. And um, that is good. So she, she used to be a bit of a cardio bunny, but she does realize now that doing the squats and doing the uh, weight training is more beneficial in the long run to build in a better physique. She's a keeper. Number four, 15 inch chest and 10 inch calves. Is this a muscle imbalance? <laughs> um, well, you just sound like a typical gym rat really every day is upper body day every day is bench day so I'd say keep doing what you're doing you're doing really well you've got that um, upside down 10 pin bowling thing going on there but yeah anyway thanks for those questions mate they were very um, interesting and another question that I got on the Facebook page let me find it was from Nicholas Thomas and he asked which was quite interesting um, let me find it the perception, my perception of people in England is that they are batshit crazy for sports like football soccer trust me, it's football uh, rugby and cricket what sports do you follow and is it true that all UK sports fans get pissed, drunk and brawl during sporting events ha 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 well there is a high population of the UK that are well into football. Me, I'm not. Never really have been. The only time I actually enjoyed football was when uh, my local team, Hull City, was in the Premiership. And I was a binge drinker and I used to go along and get pissed up in the pub, watch the games and play silly bets. Um, there is like a, a big thing about like football hooligans and stuff like that. But to be honest, it's not as bad as people think it is. And to be fair, there's a lot of people that go just to watch the game, but if people want to go and do what they do, that's up to them, I ain't got a problem with that. Um, with rugby, it doesn't seem to be as bad. Um, cricket, there is a lot of people that are into cricket. Um, very big following, obviously, because we are a pretty good team. Um, what sports do I follow? I like boxing, I used to be really into boxing. Uh, I used to do it myself. Um, didn't really do any high level competitive because I was not that good. Um, but. I do like boxing, I have sort of come out of it a bit really, the, 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 the fighters just don't seem to be there anymore, there's none of the classic ones anymore, um, I, the last boxing match I watched was the Ricky Hatton fight where he got mullered and um, 
that was it really. I think that was the last time I watched it. I like to watch uh, the F1 when it's on, so I'm looking forward to that starting soon. Um, and I'm hoping to get into American football when it starts again. I think it's in September, the season starts. So I'll be taking out the Sky Sports package to watch it. I watched the recent Super Bowl and I really enjoyed it, even though it took like 10 hours to play a 60-minute game. Uh, must be why all those American football players have massive bellies. Anyway, uh, in respect to getting bra brawling during sporting events, it doesn't really, really happen. I mean, you get a bit of... Some fans get quite passionate and all that, and but it's not as bad as uh, as you think it is. I mean, the media always paints a worse picture than it is because, let's be honest, the government and the media and everything, it's a lot of bullshit. So there you go, really. I hope that uh, answers your question there, Nicholas. And uh, that's it, really, for this uh, this week's talking bollocks that's the type of the type of questions i want to answer i've managed to do a nice bit of cardio here and i don't feel very bad for doing it so if you've got any questions like that you can ask me that are a little bit off topic fire them over to me if you're on here on the facebook or on twitter so till next time cheers now eight weeks to cut it baby Woo!